All right, well, we're going to see if we don't have a little bit better luck tonight than we did last night. Um, starting P2, there's only nine of us in here. Heck, only five people qualified out of the nine. Um, so, uh, <laughs> pole sitter over here, I don't know what he does in race trim. But he is very fast in qualifying trim, so I don't know if we'll be able to catch up or catch up, keep up with him. Unfortunately, we are starting on the outside, so hopefully we get a decent start and can get down low, get in front of uh, Gage. So yeah, mic check. Bottom clear. Awesome, thanks. Mic check. Yep. You good? And we wait. Cody was the last guy that actually qualified. He may be starting from the pit. I need some, somebody to share a freaking open setup with me at some point, if possible. <laughs> so, I started working on one for this practice. I don't know much about the scores, though. I put together a decent setup, but the I didn't think too much. The I didn't have enough time right. to really around with it. So. P2. I just bought this card this week, actually. That's fun. Stay behind the pace car. I only run modified, so that these are the tour mods. I run truck, Xfinity, and stuff. That's about it. I'm actually just here for safety rating. I'm not going to try too hard. Well, you're going to have a 50 50. You either came to the right place or you came to the wrong place because Martinsville really anything can happen. Someone can clip the off of, Someone can clip the curve and then they go around and you'll just be right in their mouth. So, or it'll go green all the way and what you will is above this, but it'll go clean all the way because we have nine cars and hopefully nobody will be stupid. Well, it'll stay green all the way no matter what, because there's no cautions in this race. Yeah, but I mean, like, make sure nobody spins out and causes the big one. Or nobody sends it in deep for no reason. All right. Anyway, okay. good luck. Zane, get ready. Here we go. Good luck, everyone. Go, go, go. Bad jump. Alright. Bad jump, but I got it. Stone overdrive. Put some distance between me and Gage behind us. Of course, uh, it takes a little, little while well, for me to 19. start running some fast laps. The guy behind has just done a 19. <laughs> Gotta let the car come up to tires come up to pressure. All right, yeah. Leader's already hauling ass from us. P2, good lap. That's your quickest so far. Now 
That lap was a 19.18. Nah, stay off the curb. Zane, that's good consistency, keep it up. Increase to 1.42. Golly, we're in a slow lapse all of a sudden. Mello behind is now 1.78. The gap in front is now 1.90. A little bit there. That lap was a 19.30. Gotta watch out for that wall. It's not surprising that the one is so much faster than we are when I uh, looked at his qualifying time. So we ran a 19.22. He ran a 19.08. That lap time was 19.32. So, yeah. I can't run. Can't run a 19.08 on my best day. So. Oh, missed the corner. All right, so <clears throat> we'll just settle in here, drive some good laps. The answer, Mello, behind is now 2.5. Not worry about first. I was overdriving the car. Trying to keep up with you. That was a 19.38. Tony, when I get you, go hard, please. Thank you. Time was at 19.43. That's good consistency. Keep it up. I'm going to go down uh, at two clicks on brake bias. Okay, Zane, that's half distance. Fuel levels are fine. The gap to Mallow behind is now 2.7.
since uh, I'm using the brake a little bit more, it should help with uh, some turn in. Oh, a little too much turn in there. <laughs> Car high. Clear high. Thanks, Tony. That last lap was a 19.55. You've just done a 19.38. Cap to Mello behind is now 3.1 seconds. Just done a nineteen point three nine. That light was a nineteen point two eight. behind is now 3.8 seconds. Oh, that could have been dangerous. Thought that was at 19.34. <laughs> cars have a tendency to climb the wall. All right, I'm going to go down another click on the brake bias. to Mello behind is now 4.2. The gap in front is now 4.3 seconds. Oh, uh, miss my apex. That lap time was 19.43. The gap to Mello behind is now 4.5 seconds. Oh, completely missed my Just done a 19.48. My entry there. <laughs> Alright, 
Should have two laps to go. No, nope, three laps to go. That was a 19.51. Okay, Zane, lap times are pretty consistent. Now we should have two to go. Two laps left, come on. You're looking good for a podium. Yeah, go high. Behind is now 4.7 seconds. All right, last lap. Daniel's made it safely for Daniel. Um, one more to go. Keep it together. We'll be on the podium. Can't pronounce his name, but the one made it past the uh, lap car, so he'll go home clean. Mm -hmm. Just didn't have anything for the leader, but we had a uneventful. We're on the podium. Good drive. Um. Had an uneventful race, unlike last night, so let's go take a look at Rex and results. Good race, five. So we didn't get off the line very good, allowed uh, Gage to get on our inside. And we were probably clear there, but I wasn't going to take a chance. So, all right. And that there was no incidents at race. All right. Let's go take a look at the results. Well, we gained 12 safety, we gained 21 I rating, and we finished uh, second with 94 points. So, good race. Um, at least it was clean. Yeah, leader ran a 1909. There's no way I could have topped that. So, let's go take a look to see what that does for standings. So, 94 points will help in overall. So gives us a little increase up to 782 total. And that will put us 782 will jump us one spot back in the 18th. So uh still have uh next week at USA. Uh we need more than 78 points to give us a bump in the championship points. So it's possible we could jump jump up to the 15th. Um, if we have another good run like this one, but, uh, yeah, good, clean race always makes it a fun race. So anyways, you guys like what you see, hit the like subscribe button and thanks for watching.